Okay, so in that problem, let's see, hold on a second. We knew. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, 10 and 6. Okay, so we got that 10 and 6 and 10 and 4. Those are what we know. We know 10, 6, and 4. All right, let's go back and look at that right here. Oh, come here, you. There we go. All right, so what we knew is that the top is 10. So I'm going to try to draw on here. So let me. Yay, that's 10. We know that this is 6 here. And we know that this is 4, right? I know this is not the scale, but this will give us an idea of what the missing length is. The one that we're trying to figure out is this red one. How long is this from here? And this is the same, whatever this one is, this is. So whatever this is, this is the same thing here. So we can finish filling on some things here. If this is six, then this one is six. Ooh, I'm ready to get an idea. I want to do that four in a different color because I don't want to get too confused here. So anything that's blue is going to be four. That's going to be four. That's going to be four. That's going to be four. Uh, that's all the fours that we have. Anything that's green is going to be 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. And we know that this is 10. All right, um, but the reds is what we don't know. Oh, I've missed a couple of greens, didn't I? Uh, oh, I did green. <laughs> I got to pick a different color because um, we got 10, 6, and 4. Wait a minute. 6. Well, we only have three numbers, though, so I got I to pick another color, I think. Let's go with black. So I'm just going to make all the 6s will be black. 6, 6. This is going to be six. This is going to be six. And I think that's all we know, right? Because we don't know this red. We don't know this red yet. We don't know this red. We don't know this red yet. So watch what happens. <laughs> that's magic. Ready? There we go. I'm going to start closing it and see if you can figure out. Hmm. Oh, i got to pick the other tool that lets me do stuff besides draw. Or is it working? No. Ah, la la. Here we go. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Ooh, uh oh. What is that six in red? What's the red going to match up with? Oh, I think you see it. Do you see it? What did it match up with? See, it's six. See? Oh my goodness. We lifted it up, but it's still six. Let's see if I can draw again. So this black. Come on, draw, draw, draw. Here is six. It's going to match up, I think, with this red. This red is what we're trying to find out. They come together and watch the magic. Ready? Oh, come on. She got a magic. There we go. Wee! Kaboom! So all of the reds have to be six, two. Not six, two. Six as well. Six tambien. Tambien as well. Uh, same. Mismo. Okay, so let me erase a little bit of junk here. Erase. Erase. And let's just start throwing in those sixes. So we know that's going to be six. Everything that's red is a six. Six, six, six. And uh, I'll go back to the black because this was originally black. Although we could make it a red now because they're all sixes. Now we can figure out this missing one. What are we going to do to figure out how much space this one takes up? You just say 10 times six. 10 times six is 60. So that is the area of this green one. It's 60. 60. So if we go back to our original problem, all of those are going to be 60. I know this is a long video. Sorry. I didn't mean to make it so long. What are you going to do? So it's all 60. So now I go back to this pencil pen. And we say this is 60 and this is 60. Oh, yeah, but these are different because these are different. Yeah. So it's not exactly proportional because what we did in the video um, back there in a moment with the, uh, uh, the manipulative math tool that we had was a cube where they are all squares. But these aren't all squares. Like these are rectangles that are different. So yes, it's 60, 40, 60, 40. Now just add all of these up. Add 60 plus 60 and 40 plus 40 and 24 plus 24. And that's your answer. And put it right up in here. Yay. All right. Bye.